Lots of people talk to me about screencasting. Since EdgeTagger TV is primarily a screencast video, they say, how do you do that? Well, I use a product called ScreenFlow for the Mac. There's tons of stuff out there you can use. ScreenFlow, ScreenFlick, those are both Mac products. Camtasia recently came out with a Mac version. There's also Camtasia for the PC. Lots and lots of products out there. Jing Project is another great one. But one that's free and really simple is ScreenToaster.com. And I like it a lot. It gives you a lot of features, and as I said, it's free, and there's no software to install, so you can use it from any web browser. It works on Mac, Windows, and Linux. So, here we go. ScreenToaster.com, how you start is you can basically sign in. The benefits of signing in, of course, is it, it stores your videos, and it gives you some other uh, features on there as well. But I'm going to show you the simple version. Even if you don't have a login, look what you can do. I go to Start Recording. It's going to initialize my machine, basically saying, okay, what do you want to record? So here I can choose my full desktop, or I can even choose to draw out a rectangle over a certain area and just record that. That's really helpful for recording a video or something smaller than the entire screen. But this is good, a full desktop, to do a demonstration of software or how to do something on the computer. Audio. I can choose to record from my built-in microphone, and it's going to ask you, you have to allow to give permission to get your microphone. So here we go. Now it's listening to me over here, and you can see my voice modulates up and down with the green. Webcam. You could choose to record your webcam. It's one of the few online options that lets you do a webcam and a microphone and the video from your desktop. Pretty cool stuff. If you want to get geeky, you can come over here and actually add some extra settings, including a recording from VNC settings and all other cool stuff. But for right now, this is good for our needs. Let's go to uh, the record settings. If you want, you could do the keyboard shortcut, which is Alt-S. But I'm going to just hit it right here. Counts down, you'll notice 5, 4, 3, 2. All right. What I'm going to do is go to another website. So this I could move out of the way. Just take it and drag it out. But what I'm going to do is just go over here. I'm on Edutecker. I'm going to go take a look at my links. And let's see. Got my links. I'm going to go sort them alphabetically. Oh, let's see. Logos only. All right, cool stuff. Back to Screen Toaster. All right. Over here, I can see the settings. It tells you the size right over here. It's about 2 megabytes so far, 24 seconds. I'm going to go to pause. You can actually pause it, which is amazing. A lot of features, a lot of online hosts like this don't let you do that. But I'm also then now going to stop it. Once you stop it, you instantly see your video right here. If you look at it in full screen mode, it looks awesome. Crystal clear. Really, really nice quality and, and very, very easy to see. If I hit play, you can watch. Is go to another website. So this I could move out of the way, just take it and drag it out. But what I'm going to do is just go over here. I'm on Edge Attacker. All right, really simple to use. Let's take a look at the, some of the features on this side. So it tells you how long. It tells you how big. You can start a new recording uh, in case you want to, you know, you flubbed up or you want to do it again. Over here, you can add subtitles. You can add a new audio track. You can remove the audio track. You can actually change the preview picture. So over here, I, you see I have Edge Attacker up on the left, and I have the old preview here. I'm going to hit the preview button and say use the image, yes. And there you go. Instantly, I have the newer image. Then, this is where it gets really neat. There's a lot of options to share it. Upload it to Screen Toaster in high quality. Upload it to YouTube. Save it as an MOV file on your computer, which you could do whatever you want with, or save it as a Shockwave file. This is a great product. ScreenToaster.com gives you lots of ways to record your screen or parts of it and share it with students or other teachers or anyone you want. So enjoy. ScreenToaster.com.